Ooh, okay. Go home to my Lord and be free. Against the wall, call on Jesus. 
आके फाइनल ओपचार कॉल एंड जीसस माय जीसस टाइम मी आउट टू Do not pass me 
Thank you. Lord, I lift you why I praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's worship. Hallelujah. He's worthy of Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord God, I want to thank you for these young people. Yes, Lord. Lord God, I want to thank you for covering them. Yes, Lord. Lord God, I want to thank you for keeping them. Yes, Lord. Lord I want to thank you for blessing them. Yes, Lord. Lord. I want to thank you for visiting their homes, mighty God. Hallelujah. Visit their schools, mighty God. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. God, sometimes I know they might not be comfortable because they are Christian in schools where they take out the Bible, but Lord God, they have the Bible in their hearts because when they read it, mighty God, those words guide them, those words keep them, and even when they feel like they are alone, oh, they might even hurt them because they are Christian, they might say words that hurt them. But Lord God, I pray that you will strengthen them, you will keep them. Lord God, I pray you form a bloodline around them. Mighty God, I pray you keep their mind. I see, oh God, at this time young people might are being attacked by the enemy. But Lord, I pray that you will cover them. Lord God, cover them against the gun. Cover them against the knives. Cover them, mighty God, against witchcraft. Cover them against sickness and disease. Lord God, I pray you breathe on them. Oh, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, you will strengthen them in their own work. My God, when they do not know what to do, I pray, Lord God, you remind them, Lord God, of what they have read in their exam. As it brings forth, oh Lord God, Put it up in their memory that they would write a good exam. Lord God, I come against spoken words. Words that does not glorify you that were spoken over their lives. It doesn't matter whether it's a family member or stranger, whoever it is. We send those words right back. Lord God, we come against curses, generation curses. Anything, mighty God, that will stop them from glorifying you. Anything that will stop them from growing, mighty God. I come against it right now. Lord Jesus, there are lawyers. There are doctors, yes, missionaries, my God, I nurses, oh God, counselors. Every, every generation is here right now, mighty God. And so, Lord Jesus, as the older folks, Lord God, I pray, mighty God, we will know how. Teach us how to pray for them, Lord God. Yes, Lord Teach God. us how to stand in the gap for them, Lord. Oh God, sometimes we don't remember a name, but sometimes the face comes up to you. Hallelujah. Pray for our young people. Yes, Lord, Lord God, I pray we teach them how to pray too. Because at times there is no one to pray with them or for them. And they are in situations where it's only you. My God can bring them through. So when I sing these songs, it's just to remind them that at times a song will take them through whatever they are going through. Lord God, sometimes just to say Jesus will take them. Father God, I pray that you will cover their foot under their steps, that they will not go in places that where they will be hurt. In the Lord name of God, Jesus. as you guide them. Lord God, as you strengthen them, even the very words that they speak, Lord God, yes, Lord. help them to say the right thing. Sometimes, Lord oh God, we as adults need to say the wrong thing and speak things over our lives. As young people, we do it. I remember when I was young, when I was little, and my mom would say, you're not come out to nothing. And I would say, me I come out to something. Me, me I come out to something. But I didn't even know that I was speaking life to myself. Hallelujah. So, Lord God, I pray, Father God, our young people will learn how to speak life over themselves. Yes, And I pray, God. Lord God, for the parents that they will learn how to speak life over these young people. In the name of that Jesus. That they will learn how to lay hands on them and yes, speak Lord. into their lives. My God, I pray that we all will learn how to encourage each other. Yes, mighty God. Even the young people, sometimes they tell you an encouraging word, and you feel so good. And they don't even know, and sometimes they don't even remember to tell them that thanks. They know that they have said something or done something good. So young people, when we don't remember to tell you thanks, please forgive us. 
Please forgive us because in that mode of course we go wrong sometimes. But it's just to show that each and every one of us, as the Bible says, will go wrong. But we can ask for forgiveness. So on behalf of all parents, on behalf of all family, I ask for forgiveness to each and every young people for every spoken word that was spoken over your life that does not glorify God. I stand in the gap tonight and I ask forgiveness. For every teacher that speaks a word over your life that does not glorify God and it words hurt you, I ask forgiveness. For every person who ever said something wrong to every young people, attack them, and say, you know, say bad things. I ask forgiveness on behalf of everyone right now. I can do that because the Bible tells us that the men in the Bible, they stand in the gap. They repent on behalf of Israel. So I'm repenting on behalf of all the hurt and the pain that you have gone through. And I My pray, God. right now I pray, Hallelujah. each and every one of our young Hallelujah. people, tonight who are Thank here, you, anyone God. else who might be listening, Thank you, Holy Spirit. that you will just take his words in your heart, and as we ask for forgiveness, Hallelujah. that you will forgive us. In the name and that, of Jesus. And sometimes the laughter in your heart, you know, when you make merry in your heart, Sometimes when you're alone and you feel hurt, remember, call on Jesus. Amen. In the middle of the night. Yeah. When Amen. I'm back against the wall. My Jesus, God,